everybody, it's me Beatrice. It's Saturday and I am now on day number five of my Bikini Body Boot Camp. And I um, just wanted to report a few progress things back to you. I am feeling lighter. Um, I'm continuing to feel lighter. A couple of adjustments that I've made that I notice make a difference are the timing of my workouts. I think I mentioned earlier that I have to do a 45 minute um, cardio workout. Uh, followed by my bikini boot camp class, which is another 45 minutes. And then um, usually during the week, at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I take an hour-long bar class, which is focused on upper body strength, core strength, and a lot of seat work. So um, I think that my advice would be try not to bunch up your workouts all together. I know a lot of people are thinking, well, once I'm at the gym, I can get all strength. You know, maybe my cardio as well as my class knocked out all at once. I find that if I go to the gym first thing in the morning before I start my day, it sets the day and it seems to just be better for my metabolism. So I'm going to continue to try to do that, uh, get up early, get in the gym, do that 45 minute on the elliptical or on the treadmill. Like I said, I can't run because of my hip, but there are lots of other options. Again, I just think it uh, has benefits all the way around, both in the way you feel and the way that you metabolize. Weight loss, I think I've lost maybe a pound and a half, uh, maybe two pounds. My clothes just seems to be fitting me better. Um, I don't have as much bloat as I normally do. So anyway, that's my little progress report on that. I did want to give a shout out to Yo Let Me In, my subscriber who wanted to know where in Canada I once lived when I referred to it in a previous video. I lived in the beautiful international city of Ottawa, Canada. Um, Ottawa is wonderful and we are so lucky to have great friends who live next door to the United States. I know it's not all, always easy living next door to the U.S., but Canada is a gracious, friendly, good friend to the United States. And when I lived there, I just loved it. I loved the whole international scene. Um, they had uh, lots of entertainment venues. They have a, a world-class opera house there excellent shopping, lots of international stuff too that you can go out and buy. It was just a real pleasure to be there. So um, uh, I also want to thank my subscriber and friend Wanda12411 who shared some great advice to take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C about an hour before I work out, before working out in general to prevent damage to our skin and improve skin regeneration. So Wanda12411, thank you. Um, I actually went out and bought a bottle today of the chewable. This is a Country Life brand chewable Acerola vitamin C complex supplement, 500 milligrams. So I take two of those tablets. They're yummy. Uh, I did take it after my workout today, but I'm going to take your advice and take it before my workout. I did go to the Dr. Mercola website, and I'll put a link to his site in my below bar. Um, I think he's, he's also in the product business, but I think his advice is excellent. I went right to the article that refers to that, and I really appreciate that tip. So anyway, um, today what I'd also like to talk about is the importance of taking probiotics. Um, this is a brand called Nature's Way Primadophilus Original. Um, there's also another one called Udo's, Udo's Choice that you can buy at Whole Foods. For some strange reason, since February, um, I've been having peeling, sore lips. I just thought that they were chapped from the winter air and things like that, but I do think that I've got more of a problem with my gut. And sometimes that can happen. It can get little canker sores in the inside of your mouth, and mine has been going on now since February, and it hasn't corrected itself, and I just knew that there was something wrong. So I did see my naturopath, and we seem to think that my diet... Um, uh, probably could have played a strong role in that. So fortunately, with the timing of the Bikini Boot Camp, I'm eating a very clean diet right now. Um, I'm finding that taking the probiotics, which I've been doing for the last three days, believe it or not, has helped. The canker sore is gone. My lips feel better. I have, I have a strong feeling it was the diet. The last thing that I wanted to share with you today are the cookbooks that I have been using. 
to um, create the meals that um, we've been eating during this time. I think I mentioned my husband has been enjoying the meals. My coach has given us some recipes, but I suspect that a lot of them are coming from this book called The Ultra Metabolism uh, Cookbook by Dr. Mark Hyman. He's a New York, seller, uh, New York Times bestseller. He authored a book called Ultra Metabolism. I erroneously refer to it as Ultra Nutrition before, but um, this book is excellent. And the, the reason why I like it so much is because the not only are the recipes so nutritious, they're also delicious. And so I think this is my number one most favorite cookbook. I've made a number of recipes in here. They're delicious. Um, my husband loves them too. Um, and so that's an extra bonus there. Now, I also use the Weight Watchers cookbooks. And the Weight Watchers cookbooks are designed with low fat and um, you know, low carbohydrates in mind. Um, I love these cookbooks. I've used them for a long time, and I do find that uh, when I make these recipes, um, I, I really feel like I'm at my best. This one is also Weight Watchers in 20 Minutes that I picked up at Sam's Club. Um, so again, um, you know, great recipes. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention are there are also some outstanding Middle Eastern cookbooks. Um, I find that Middle Eastern food is very clean, it's very nutritious. We have a Lebanese restaurant here in our town in the greater Washington, D.C. area, and um, it's my favorite restaurant. I can get a clean chicken kebab with a nice clean red tomato sauce and an excellent salad with a le light lemon dressing on it. And that's the way that uh, I think really everybody should be eating. So. Along those lines, this is top, you know, hands down my favorite Middle Eastern cookbook. It's called The Complete Middle East Cookbook by Tess Malos. And there are, I've already, as you can see, I've booked, cook, uh, bookmarked some of my favorites. Um, my absolute favorite in here is um, green beans with, um, with tomatoes. It's called Lubi by Zayat. Uh, green beans and oil basically is what it means. So it's got fresh green beans, a little bit of olive oil, onion, garlic, tomatoes, tomato paste, water, black pepper, a little bit of sugar, and some chopped parsley. It's, it is a winner. I serve it very frequently with our evening meals. Along those lines I have this one, the New Armenian Kitchen. Actually this is from the St. Andrew Lady Society. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon but my former mother-in-law was Armenian and she taught me to cook a lot of great Armenian dishes. And then finally, here's another um, book of Middle Eastern food by Claudia Rodin. And I think I picked this up at one of my local bookstores. And it, it just has some wonderful, very nutritious recipes in here. Puree of dried white beans, almond salads, fresh fava bean salads, and um, so I think that um, you can't go wrong when you um, use a Middle Eastern cookbook to come up with some nutritious meals. So that's what I have today. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I don't know if you heard the loud boom earlier, but we're getting a thunderstorm here. The sun was just out a few minutes ago, too, so it's very odd. Anyway, um, take care, and I'll talk to you next time.